Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center, the best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. Right now, a Denver shelter is looking for a missing puppy. The Max Bun No Kill Shelter says a man walked in to visit the dog named Hope. He then grabbed the puppy and ran. We have a picture of the man and the dog on our website, denverchannel.com. If you see them, call the shelter or police. Just in time for the season of giving, one Colorado man is going the extra mile to give back. He raised money to buy an RV for a family left homeless by the campfire in Paradise, California. As you know, that fire completely devastated the small northern California town. He plans to pick up the RV at 10 this morning in Longmont, then make the 18-hour drive to Paradise right in time for Thanksgiving. And today, culinary specialists at Fort Carson are donating their time to prepare a massive Thanksgiving feast for 3,500 community members. The volunteers are preparing 350 turkeys, 200 pounds of mashed potatoes, 12 cases of stuffing, and 20 cases of green beans. It was all donated to the Salvation Army. They're going to serve it all up tomorrow at the Salvation Army Community Center on Yuma Street. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with our Thanksgiving forecast. It is going to be beautiful. We're looking at highs this afternoon near 60 upper 50s to low 60s with a lot of sunshine and tomorrow just about as warm upper 50s to near 60 a little different tomorrow we are going to see an increase in cloud cover and some snow developing in the mountains by tomorrow afternoon then on Friday we'll be in the mid 50s snow continues in the mountains Friday into Saturday so some fresh powder for the weekend we get a shot at a little snow Saturday tracking a cold front that's going to bring us down to about 40 on Saturday so we have issued a first alert action day also a chance for some light snow it gets clear on Sunday Sunday, but it's windy and cold highs in the upper 30s. All right. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 on demand update. Thanks for joining us and make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.